So boys and girls, I wanted to give you an update about how that tomato plant has grown, the one that I showed at the very beginning. And look how big that tomato plant has gotten. So when I bought it, it was very small, but because of photosynthesis, because the leaves have chloroplasts inside, because the leaves and the chloroplasts are able to make their own food out of water, carbon dioxide, and sunshine, they are able to grow and make fruit. And the, there's the flowers. There's some flowers of the tomato plant. And the purpose of the flower is to make fruit. Inside the fruit will be seeds. And that allows the plant to reproduce, to make more of itself. So the tomato plant has grown. Here's another tomato plant. Here is um, a zucchini basil, kale, more basil and lettuce. Everything is looking beautiful. Zucchini. You notice that every plant has a different shaped leaf. The shape of the leaf is like one of the properties of that plant that helps us know what type of plant it is. So that's some green onion. Very clear because it's tall and skinny. Here are the carrots. You guys planted the carrots um, in uh, March and they were so small and now they are so big. Now, I think we should pick one. I'm gonna come down here and let's see if I can find a nice big carrot. I'm gonna try this one. Ooh, beautiful, a beautiful carrot. Let's try another one. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, boys and girls, beautiful carrots that you guys planted in the garden. I'm gonna give them to my rabbits. They're gonna love them. All right, plants are amazing. Okay, I planted some pumpkin seeds uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. And then they, they, they germinated, the seeds germinated, the baby sprout started to grow, and now I have yeah, maybe a juvenile plant, not an adult, because it doesn't have any flowers yet. But I wanted us to take a really nice close look at the parts of a plant. So, you can see the roots. They're very fine. They reach out into the soil to get the nutrients and the water. And then the water and the nutrients travel up the stem. And you can see, boys and girls, even in the leaves, do you see the structures that help carry the water up to the leaves? And in the leaves, you can see the veins. So that kind of reminds me of our circulatory system, right? That we have a system of taking, transporting water and nutrients to our body, and so does the plant. All right, so we looked at those plants, um, those little seedlings that I had, and I have it here. And I want, what I want to do now is I want to draw a picture of the plant and label the parts because this is science, this is what we do. I like you guys to do this as well at home. And when I look at it, uh, and I also wanna connect it to what we've already done before, like connect it to the parts of our body, connect it to the plant cells, connect it to all the functions that those things, uh, all of those parts have. So we have the roots, the roots, absorb the water from the soil and they anchor the plant, right? So in our body, we take in water by drinking it, right? In a cell, the cell takes in water by having it go through the membrane, the cell membrane. Okay, now the water is gonna travel up the stem and there is a special tube 
inside this stem that helps tra the water travel up the stem. And that tube is called the xylem. Xylem. And it carries water up from the roots, up the stem to the leaves, okay? So the xylem is kind of like, um, you know, part of our digestive system, to allowing water to go through into our body and then going into our circulatory system, carrying water to every cell of our body and plants' bodies. Okay, now the leaves. There are these little veins that go all the way throughout the leaves, carrying the water to every cell of the plant. And then they, inside the plant, inside the, the leaf, that's where the chloroplasts make food through the process of photosynthesis. Now, once that plant makes food, it ha it can't, the food cannot just stay in the leaves. It's now transported to all parts of the plant. And now we have another series of tubes carrying the sugar to all parts of the plant. And that series of tubes are called the phloem. The phloem carry all the food molecules that the chloroplast just made to all the parts of the plant. Now, the plant uses some of that food to grow. And some of it, it stores so that it can make fruit and seeds and reproduce and make more plants in the future. Okay, I want us to take a closer look at these structures in the stem. The xylem, which carries water up, and the phloem, which carries the sugar down. One way that you can look closely at the parts of a stem is to take a piece of celery and put it into some water with food coloring. When you do that, the water travels up the stem and you can see the xylem. Now I use red food coloring, you don't have to use red food coloring, but you can see all the red food coloring going up the little red, those tubes, and it's coloring the tubes red. Those tubes are the xylem. Now you can kind of see that there are some additional like white tubes. Those tubes would be the phloem, which will carry the sugar back down. So this is a super fun and simple experiment, and I would love it if you guys could do it and show yourself the xylem in a celery plant. Okay, so now we're gonna start talking about another little structure of a plant that we haven't really talked about, and it's called the stomata. So the water goes up through the roots, up the xylem, to the leaves, and the leaves, in order to make sugar, they need three ingredients, right? They need water, they're getting that from the roots and the xylem. They need sunshine, they're getting that from the sun, but they need carbon dioxide. How is the plant going to get carbon dioxide into the leaf? Well, the stomata provide that way for the carbon dioxide to get into the plant. The stomata are these tiny little holes that are underneath the, the leaf. They're on the bottom side of the leaf and they allow carbon dioxide to go into the leaves and oxygen to come out of the leaves. So the stomata are kind of like the respiratory system for the plant. All right, so boys and girls, I just put a plastic bag over this, the leaves on this lemon tree. And I just wanted you to see what it looks like at the beginning. Right now it's just a clear plastic bag over the leaves. And in a, I'm gonna come back in about 30 minutes or so and we're gonna see that there's probably gonna be something inside the bag. We'll learn more about that later. Now, I put a plastic bag on a tree this morning on some of the leaves, and one of the things that comes out of the stomata not only is oxygen uh, exiting from the stomata, but also water vapor. So if we can go out and see the bag is full of water vapor, 
we're gonna see this domata at work. Okay, so boys and girls, it has now been about 30 minutes since I put that bag on the tree. And remember, at the beginning, the bag was completely clear. You could see right through it. But do you see there's little water droplets inside the bag now? So as the plant breathes out oxygen, it also breathes out water vapor. So the water vapor is trapped because I put a bag on the leaves and the stomata breathe out the water vapor and I've trapped it inside the bag and we can see all the little drops of water that are getting trapped inside the bag. So the stomata breathe out, car uh, breathe out oxygen and water vapor.